Hey everyone, it's Jalan. Back at again with another episode of my weekly recap. Today currently is September 3rd, 2018, and this is gonna be episode 35 of my weekly recap. Let's jump straight into it. And today currently is Labor Day, so um, I wish everybody had a uh, wonderful holiday out there. And let's get right into this week's really recap. This week, again, full week at Intel. Um, just hammering and continuing to learn and implement uh, the new testing infrastructures that I've been handed to me and just migrating a lot of the tests from the old infrastructures in, into this new infrastructure and making smooth, uh, making the, the code transition as, as smooth as I, as I can make it and with providing as much coverage uh, and testing to the code, making the code as ro- much uh, as robust as we can. So that's what I've been doing this whole week, and pretty I anticipate to, to be doing that for uh, pretty much till the end of the end of the month, you know, till the end of this release. Just that's pretty much my primary goal um, for this release, and uh, that's coming up this end of this month. So I'm hoping really to really to get get up to speed on everything and accomplish this first task that was given. So super excited for that. Um, I know I'm definitely gonna crush it. I'm gonna make it happen, and we are gonna be good. Um, So moving us on, moving along on things outside of work. Um, I did continue through the fourth week of my MongoDB course. Completed that. Learned a lot about indexes uh, of the relational database and how that uh, impacts performance. Really, really awesome. Love the progress that I'm making there. Didn't do a lot of coding in that. Primarily a lot of concept. It was a lot of stuff uh, with indexing that indexes that I have to learn. And I'm still not 100% um, understanding the whole concept. Well, I get the, the basic structures, but in terms of the MongoDBs and how they operate and the, and the different commands that you can do and how everything ties up is still what somewhat fuzzy to me but i'm going to um, keep learning right i think that was is a great uh overview for of indexing for me and i'm sure that i'm going to be brushing up uh, and learning everything i need to learn about indexing so that's really really awesome um, and along with that it comes with a, a time management thing that I, i've been experimenting this week uh, specifically what I've been doing is that I'm setting up uh, an alarm clock or a timer clock I would say on the computer so whenever I start a session I set it to 30, mi- 30 minutes as well as um, an hour so those are the two increments I'm doing so basically what I do is that I hit this hit the timer start and then I just go full on focus for that 30 minutes or an hour um, and just that, that time is like I'm distracted, can't do anything else but learn. So, um, and what I found is that I get a little bit way more productive out of that. You know, my focus is there, I'm not reaching my phone, I'm not, you know, looking at Facebook or whatever because I know that that time I allocate it, it's for studying only. And once that timer is up, like I just I just quit, you know, and I won't feel guilty of not going a little bit farther because I have I've this plan that I set up, this time, this range I set up that it's only specific specifically for studying so um, again that's really helping me to stay on track and looking forward to continuing to implement um, and using this technique into my studying and whatever I'm doing uh, things that I need to do without any distraction so that's really really awesome loving it um, along with that I've been continuing to listen to podcasts and continuing to lo- uh, read um, at lunch and specifically I actually am um, going back to revisit this book Unshakable uh, I read this last year uh, when I was when I was down Eugene was on an internship I got a lot of values out of that book and really learning about uh, the financial industries and you know 401ks and the, the ins and the outs and basically the rules of the financial game right um, I think it's very fascinating for people to um, get into a game but you don't really know 
the rules and how you how are you supposed to win if you don't know the rules, right? Um, so that's what this book is really helping me to do, just to revisiting it. Yeah, some of the concept I, I I've it's are in the back of my mind, but it's really I'm trying to pick up a new you know with this new job. I'm trying to um, out you know maximize uh, what I can earn. Um, the opportunities I have with my current employer, and um, the only way to learn about that is to investigate, to learn, and to to ask questions on um, ask questions and ask for resources, and really getting myself over you know educated on what is needed to do to so I can put myself in the best position to succeed uh, for the future. So, um, really, really loving, loving what I've done. You know, I'm really proud of the progress I've made. Actually, um, I think just for the past few days, I've allocated at least a minimum of one hour just um, going outside and not bringing my phone and just bringing the book and just read for a whole hour. So, um, and I think that's really, um, really helpful for me. Um, I've gotten uh, a lot of values out of that, and specifically, um, just getting back to the routine of reading all the time and. Staying in the mindset of growing and growing and learning, learning. I think that's that's what makes me um, more fulfilled, right? I was, I definitely have been a lot more happier and loving of my life, of um, especially now that I have made this change and going back to the to the learning learning habits that I have. So I'm really proud of that. I'm super excited and I'm just absolutely loving this place, loving where I'm at, loving my life. And I um, hope everybody definitely go out there and make some changes, right? And if you're not really happy about where you at, um, really become self-aware of these emotions and where you are in life and really ask those, those difficult questions of what you want to do and make changes. You know, I'm not saying that I'm perfect or anything. So these are just some of the small adjustments I have made um, for this week so far. And I know, you know, I definitely know a lot of bad habits I still have. I'm looking to change those lot. Some are easier than others, uh, but it's all about progress, right? I think progress, it's just everything. You know, you gotta grow, 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 because life without growing is so meaningless. And that's what I found is, oh my God, just so much, so much self-rewarding when you are learning and you are you are growing so it's just so so fulfilling that feeling is just it's indescribable and it's just your life has so much more meaning and seeing the progress you have made and just I'm just super excited for um, for where I'm going and where I'm heading and and I know that the future is gonna be bright for me and I'm you know I'm super proud of where I'm at, I, mean, I can't wait to see where I, what, the, what I'll be in the next year, and if I'm stick, and when I'm sticking to this continuing uh, learning and educating and progressing, just oh, so much, and, and and at the same time feeling so, um, having so much gratitude for where I've come from, right, and no, and, and just feeling that sense of grace, uh, just, just overwhelmed. Right, overwhelmed with what I have. So um, I know this is a lot of rambling going on right now, but I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. Today, like I said again, um, it's Labor Day. Go out there and make it awesome. And I will talk to you guys next week with my next episode of my weekly recap. So um, love you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.